I wanted to talk about the trailer and the series as a whole. I know I'm a bit too late to the party, about a year late, but there are some things I wanted to talk about. I'm very optimistic about the show, but also afraid. I've seen video game adaptations be generally disliked by fans of the original game before. But those who are involved with the game are also working on the show, so that is making me hopeful. There will be slight changes to the story, which is fine with me depending on what they are. The series is different from a game and written story, so it has to be told differently. But there are some things I could see them changing that would be large changes to the plot. I'd rather not talk about them until the series is out, so I can see if they do happen or not. But I am needlessly rambling. I don't have thoughts on everything, but the intro narrations are honestly the most interesting part to me to analyze. When I was a boy, I often would ask my blessed mother to tell me the histories of the gods, of their great loves and their burning hatreds. And she told me stories of paradise, Elysium, and of their places of judgment, the underworld. First is Nerva. The artwork here is in a similar style to his notes, and a lot of the art for the note characters is in a very similar style to their notes. As far as I know, none of the quotes come from the notes. I think it would have been great if they did, but they don't. However, Nerva's is similar to one of the preview notes from one of the characters. The non-canon notes are interesting. The wiki states that they were found in the dev kit and posted online prior to the game's release. They are different than the canon notes and are not canon. I'm not sure what they were for. They could have been the first version of the story or just created for test purposes. Nerva is replaced by a different character, who is most likely the same character or one with a similar role, but with a different name. His first note, which was translated from Latin on the wikis, states, This must be Elysium. My father was wrong about this place. I do not see any fairy man nor a three-headed dog. I do see monsters and savages. Well, in the narration, he says that his mother told him those stories. I thought it was too similar to ignore. To kill another is to take away their past, their present, and their future. When the time comes, you must do your duty without hesitation. Secondly, we have Mei Yin's notes. I don't have much to say about the quote itself. It doesn't seem to come from the notes. That's probably her brother in the image? I'm looking forward to getting to see more of the characters' backstories. I think this kind of confirms that we'll be getting flashbacks for all the characters and not just Helena. Although she never had a brother in her notes, and she specifically said that her father wanted a son, so this must be one of the changes that they're making to the series. There's two new characters. I'm not sure if who they are exactly has been confirmed, and I'm not too familiar with voices at all to be able to tell. And I really just want to focus on the note characters right now. This place contains more wonders than you can dream of. Secrets that only I can unlock. Secrets meant for me alone. So then there's Rockwell. It looks like notes he's written with purple slowly spreading over them, foreshadowing what eventually happens in Aberration. And the secrets left for me alone part is definitely something he would say near the end of the story. Why they reveal that so early and in the first trailer, I don't know. Unless he's going to be more antagonistic in the series than he was in the beginning of the island notes. In the beginning, Helena actually thought of him as a friend, but maybe I was the only one surprised by the part where he betrayed her and it wasn't as much of a twist as I thought it was. Can you feel it? The balance of nature has been altered. There is someone out there who may change our fate, who could lead us out of the darkness. And yet I wonder, hunted and alone on this strange new world, will she be able to survive. The final narration is also a new character, I think, but I also don't know who that is. There's a character who is supposedly a prophet, and that sounds like a prophecy to me. I'm sure the person that he is referring to is most likely Helena, and I don't know how I feel about an actual prophecy in the series yet. Being destined to change our fate is definitely fitting for Helena's role in the story, considering her ascension was the thing that led up to the character you play as essentially saving Earth. But an actual prophecy was never in the notes. 
There's a bit of foreshadowing in Santiago's 16th note in Extinction, which states, it's as if her nervous system is more advanced than everyone else's, like it can just process information at a higher rate. I wonder, could she open a neural link with even more advanced technology? Maybe that's a question for another time, but for now, I think I've found my second pilot, which is definitely hinting at her later role in the story, but it still isn't exactly a prophecy. It's not really something I want to talk about now, because the series isn't out yet, and it'll make this longer with just a bunch of random speculation, but a prophecy could definitely fit into the theme. Somehow the characters trying to figure out if they're responsible for their own actions, or for the actions of themselves in the past, since they're pretty sure that they're clones of their past selves. There's an illustration of a stegosaurus and a rex fighting, which probably confirms the rex for the series. Of course, it's a Tyrannosaurus rex, they're probably gonna add it anyways, it's one of the most famous dinosaurs. And Stegosaurus was already shown in the concept art. The next scene is probably an actual scene from the series, and it shows Helena fighting somebody who is riding a raptor. Helena has a parasaur. She didn't in the notes, but I think this takes place before her notes, considering that she seems to be alone at this point in the story. And that she does have a parasaur and not her Argentavis. I assume this is from the beginning of the series, soon after arriving on the island, along with the image that was revealed of her with the dodo. The parasaur specifically is interesting, since Helena's dossier for the parasaur states, She informed me that many overlooked the creature's potential. She even graciously gifted me a fancy saddle to put on my own parasaurolophus one day, regarding her encounter with somebody who had tamed a herd of parasaurs. The fancy saddle is most likely referring to the parasaur stylish saddle skin, which is currently unlocked by riding a dinosaur for the first time in the game. The saddle that Helena's parasaur is wearing is similar to the skin, except a bit simplified for animation, and also without the ARC logo, since it's the logo for the game, and not anything that ever appears in canon, to my knowledge. In addition to the parasaur and raptor, another creature makes an appearance. A small feathered dinosaur of some sort. I don't know what it is, at first I assumed it was a dodo, but pausing the video at that scene shows a creature with a long dinosaur-like tail. Personally, I think it is a new creature for the series, and the closest ones I can think of in-game are Archaeopteryx, Microraptor, and Troodon. It lacks the large tail feathers of the Microraptor and Archaeopteryx, and the Microraptor's crest. Archaeopteryx only lives in the redwoods on the island, and this scene does not take place there. It appears to have a slight beak, as well as some tail feathers, which Troodon lacks in the game. It also lacks the large blue eyes and toothy expression, which I think are its most memorable features, aside from just how annoying they are. I want to remain optimistic about this show. A series or movie based on the notes has been my dream for a while, and this is animated, which is also a bonus for me, because I'm biased. I particularly like the raptor design, the feathers remind me of hair, and the fan art of characters from the Warriors book series with fur that looks like hair. 